Hi. Welcome back to the lab. This is where I do my unboxings and first impressions now. It's a, it's a nice little location. And if that intro didn't tell you anything, then let me tell you something. I'm gonna be talking about noir today, or as I like to call it, noir. So we're gonna talk about Tom Ford and Tom Ford's noir lineup. Now, Tom Ford's noir lineup is, um, is one that I've been watching for a very long time. And I must say that not all of them really intrigue me. The one that I like the most is the one that I've already got, which is Noir Anthracite or Noir Anthracite. Mm, delicious. This is such an underrated fragrance. I don't see why people hate on this so much, but it is just a brilliant, brilliant. This, this could be a freaking private blend. I, I swear to God, but they didn't do it. And I'm glad they didn't do it because it would have been heaps more expensive. So that's not, that's not the point of this video today. The point of this video today is that I bought the only other one that really intrigued me, which was uh, Noir Extreme, but there was something that didn't work on my skin every time I tested that. And I really like that fragrance and I'm a real big fan of pistachio. Uh, which is, you know, a, a main ingredient of Kulfi, of which uh, is the main note of the Noir Extreme or Extreme uh, version of the fragrance that, from Tom Ford. So I decided to blind buy, based on the notes that I've read, the uh, Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme or Pour Femme 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 Femme. That's French for woman. Anyway, I'm going to unbox this and we're going to check it out. And I hope that it's very similar because everyone says it's very similar, uh, except that this one's a little bit sweeter, which I think would work where pistachio is uh, a main note. So let's go ahead and unbox and get a first impression of Noir. Poor woman. Yes. Love the plastic. Like this, this box is not bad. I mean, it's not that great. I've seen way better presentations than, than this, but um, there we are. There's the bottle. It's a, it's a 50 mil. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. Um, and let's go. Uh, there's a bit of heft to this cap, but it isn't m metal, is it? It feels plastic. Anyway, let's do a little bit of a sampling on skin. I'm not really wearing anything at the moment other than this shirt. Let's do a little bit of a, okay, doctor, I'm, I'm ready for my, okay, here we go. And uh, on my hairless forearm, here we go. There it is. Okay. Oh. That was a bit strong. There's something up the top that's really, come on. I'll give it a little bit of a, I'll give it a little bit of a airing. And then I'll, nice, 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 nice. It feels like there's powdered milk with pistachio. That coffee note is really, really cool. And I really like it, it's, it's, it is sweet. But it's not, it's sweet, but it's more like a, and I like this kind of sweet. There's a, there's a, there's a dessert uh, as well. Well, I mean, Kulfi is a dessert, but there's another dessert that this is reminding me of, um, which is called uh, halva or halawa or whatever. It's, it's a thing made of uh, sesame seeds and uh, you often get varieties with pistachio in it. Uh, and, and it really gives off that, that sort of dense, uh, syrupy sweetness that that thing has. And I'm a fan of that, unfortunately. Um, for my belly, it doesn't really work because it's very, very sweet, full of sugar. So, but this one uh, is fantastic for my belly because it doesn't actually give me any calories and I can still smell the sweetness of it. Yeah. I'll give this a little bit to settle down and then we'll come back and we'll see what the mids are like and then we'll take a break and then we'll come back and review the base. All right, so hold tight. Mm. 
<clears throat> and we're back. All right, now this has had a chance to settle down and that really, really harsh hit that I copped uh, in my nose when I sprayed this on was uh, a lot of dry sort of sweetness, evaporated powdered milk sweetness. That sort of died down a little bit. It's in the background. The Kulfi note is still present, which is nice because it's very refreshing and it's a little bit different. It's and I like the fact that this is running sweet instead of spicy. I'm generally not a fan of sweet fragrances, but like I said, it's given me that halawa or halva uh, vibe, which I, I really do enjoy and I have a connection with anyway, that's why. So i um, really enjoying this as a matter of fact. I'm getting, I'm getting some jasmine for some reason and I'm, I'm very partial to picking up notes of, of, uh, of jasmine in, in fragrances because it's one that I'm not really the biggest fan of. It's, it's blending really, really well with that coffee note. And so far, it's projecting quite well still, uh, even into the mids. So uh, let's give this a little bit more time and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the bass when we get to the bass notes here, all right? All right, and we're back to talk about the bass notes. This is where it gets really, really, really awesome. And I don't think I've been too impressed by first impressions of fragrances, but I think that this is one of the exceptions to the rule. Tom Ford Noir, Paul Femme. Femme, femme means hungry, doesn't it? Femme, I can't say it properly. Sorry, French people. Anyway, uh, for ladies but it doesn't really matter because it the tom ford noir extreme and the tom ford noir are almost identical except for the fact there's a few key differences here one i think goes in the spicy direction and this one goes into the sweet direction now i do smell vanilla but but the thing that makes this interesting is because there is a note of mastic in here or, or lentisco. I like to call it mastic, okay? It's a resin, it's a gum. It has a very strange uh, scent or flavor uh, because one of the things that I grew up with was a chewing gum called chiclets. And chiclets, the most popular flavor of chiclets for some reason was the mastic flavor and that I, I, I'm smelling that I'm smelling I'm smelling mastic with kulfi and a little bit of vanilla in there and I'm glad the vanilla is not that stupidly syrupy sort of vanilla it's it's really nice and light handed and well done uh, the perfumer here is Sonia Constant and and I've liked a few of her creations previously but this is probably my favorite so far wow this is really nice and like i said i'm not really impressed by first impressions usually and i can't wait till i introduce a bit more air into this bottle and really really have this open up and start to develop properly on my skin and probably wait for the weather to sort of become more appropriate which i think is most of the year i mean i could see myself wearing this all year round. I mean, this could be a signature for sure. I mean, maybe, maybe not like super, super duper 30, 40 degree hot days, but maybe at night. That's, that's good. This is a night. This does seem like a nighttime fragrance to me as well. It's really up to the person that's, that's wearing it. There you go. Tom Ford Noir. Wow. What an, what an awesome, what an awesome pickup. I mean, I've had my eye on Noir Extreme for, for a long time and, and Noir Anthracite, Noir Anthracite, it couldn't be any more further apart. I have no idea why this is called noir and this is called noir. Um, and they're not flankers of each other. They're not even similar in any way, shape or form. And I don't understand it. It's making me malfunction. Anyway, who cares? I don't really care. They're both awesome fragrances and I'm glad that I got the two best ones in the lineup, in my opinion. As always, this is my channel, isn't it? It is, so that is my opinion. And my opinion is the truth. So there you go. Tom Ford Noir 
for ladies, which I think has been discontinued. I'm pretty sure there's talk about it being discontinued, but I see it everywhere still. So um, I don't know for sure. Uh, yeah, great quality, fantastic. Probably the pick of the bunch um, apart from anthracite, which is a personal love of mine. But this I think is a way more mass pleasing, mass appealing sort of fragrance. Yeah, definitely a night out. This'll kill it, this'll kill it. Wow, okay, awesome. Happy with that. And as always, thanks for watching.